Welcome back, True Believers, Elite Legend back in the house. And we are going to take a look at the final figure that we need to build the Stilt Man. It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. The McRib is back. Die Hard is on rotation at the Elite Legend household. Best Christmas movie ever. And we have Marvel's Frogman. And we're basically a step away from building one of my most anticipated Marvel Legend figures, Stilt Man. So as we see, we already have the head, the right arm, the shoulder harness, two legs, a briefcase, and torso for the stilt man. This frogman figure comes with the left arm, a blaster, an additional hand, and of course frogman's interchangeable hands. There we have a look at the side of the packaging. And if you look at the back of the package, Eugene Patilio suits up as frogman in a misguided attempt to restore his family's good name. Now, Frogman is the kind of character that Elite Legend loves. I love the underdog. I love the bumbling um, characters. I, I just love obscure comic characters. It is now time to break Eugene out of his plastic prison. So, this is actually my favorite part of the videos. So, let's go ahead and slice the tape here. And we're going to go ahead and... Pull this frog man out. Bam. Straight out of the pot, we have the frog man. And now we have a shot at Eugene Patilio, aka Frog Man, on the 360 display. There you see his backpack. Not sure if it's removable or not. We'll take a look at it when we take a closer look at the articulation. But there you see the deco on the figure. This figure is using the Dr. Octopus body mold. Perfect choice. You see the flippers there. You see the backpack straps along the chest. He is in his green and mustard colored attire. And if you look at the bottom of the flippers, you can see that there are springs at the bottom of his feet. He comes with a Really cool looking frog mask. Really an ill-conceived costume choice by Eugene Patilio in his quest to become a superhero like Spider-Man. Now here we see Frogman on the display base at Hasbro Cells. This is the one that came with the Target Black Widow. And it does hold him up pretty well. I have it kind of clamped along his backpack there if you haven't picked these up pick some up on hasbro pulse they do make a great uh display stand for your flying figures and even heavier figures like the frogman here so frogman burst onto the scene he hopped into action in 1983 appearing on the pages of the amazing spider-man and we'll recreate that classic cover well not so classic but uh it's a cover that I really enjoy since I'm a fan of the Frogman. But he made his first appearance in Marvel's Team Up. I have that issue somewhere. Um, but one of the comic books that I'll show you guys now is the Marvel Team Up with Spider-Man and Frogman. This is his actual first comic cover. And there we see the White Rabbit. A very underrated Marvel legend. We'll take a closer look at her in just a moment. But a very cool comic book cover from 1983, July of 83. So we just took a look at the cover of a comic from July of 83. Flash forward two years later, and you have Frogman still trying to get into the good graces of good graces of Spider-Man. This time, the black suit Spider-Man, and another person who was trying to get into the good graces of Spider-Man was Toad. So these two men were at odds, and you see Spidey here trying to keep the peace. Here we have the Frogman alongside the retro Spider-Man and the 
underrated white rabbit. Now we see the frogman next to my placeholder custom toad using the Dr. Octopus body. This was a quick custom that I put together, again as a placeholder, until we get a toad to complete our brotherhood of evil mutants. Hasbro, please provide that to us in 2021. Retro card, X-Men wave. Let's do it. Now, I will never get down on Hasbro for doing a repaint. If it provides us with another character in our collections, I'm all down for it. So as you can see in the center, Frogman is, of course, a repainted Dr. Octopus to a T. We'll take a closer look in just a moment. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on this. So first off, the head does move forward and back just a bit. He has the double elbow, bicep rotation. There is no cut at the wrist. He has a rotation and hinge at the wrist there. Leg kicks up that much. He can do a semi-decent split, especially for a character his size. He has a double knee, thigh rotation. He does rotate at the calf. He has a pivot and rocker. And let's get a closer look at his springs. Can't wait to see somebody customize actual springs onto his flipper. So if you're going to do a repaint, um, I'm fine with it. Uh, but this one does add some pretty cool touches. The backpack is not removable. Could have used a little paint, but I'm fine with it. There you see the deco on his chest. Oh, I almost forgot about torso. So he does have the diaphragm, which gives him an incredible range of motion. There is no twist at the waist but you can pretty much accomplish any pose you'd like. No butterfly, but he does still move in quite a bit for not having a butterfly. Arm moves up that high, over to the side. I am very pleased with the articulation on Frogman, and I think you will be too. Let's get a closer look inside. And I think I may have cracked the mystery here. I don't know if it was just my copy, but when you remove the Frogman head, you can see that Frogman is actually one of the split personalities of Mark Spector, a.k.a. Moon Knight. So if you guys have been patiently watching all of the reviews leading up to the completion of the Stilt Man, you would have seen from left to right Peter B. Parker, Gwen Stacy with Spider-Ham, Miles Morales, Prowler, and the Hand Ninja. If you haven't already checked those out, check out my playlist so you can see those as we work towards completing the Stilt Man. Now here we see the Frogman soaring high above the buildings in New York City in his quest for superhero status. So now we have all the pieces that we need to build the Stilt Man. Tune in tomorrow. I will be building Stilt Man. So make sure if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to that video. Check out my Marvel Legends playlist. Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited about the Stilt Man? What other Build-A-Figures are you looking forward to in 2021? What's the best Build-A-Figure of 2021? And until next time, make mine Marvel.